You guys, I make this salad at least once every single week. My family is obsessed and can't get enough of it. I've even converted many Brussels sprout haters into lovers with this salad. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper. I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. I believe if you can read, you can cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm showing you my family's all-time favorite salad. It's easy enough for a weeknight, but it's impressive enough to serve to company. Make sure you stay tuned to the end to learn my favorite variations and tricks for making this salad. And be sure to grab the full printable recipe in the video description below. So the first thing we need for our shaved Brussels sprout salad are some Brussels sprouts. So here I have about a pound or so of Brussels sprouts. I've trimmed most of them, but when you trim a Brussels sprout, you just wanna get this end part off of the little tiny cabbage. So just I just lop it right off there, throw it in the bowl, this goes in the trash. Now, for making this salad, we need to shave the Brussels sprouts. There's a few ways you can do it. I'm going to use the food processor because it's super simple and it'll be done in no time. So I have my food processor fitted with the shredding blade, uh, and that's really what you need for this. You can always do this with a knife, perfectly fine, just nice thin shreds. Just cut it straight down. But I'm gonna throw it right here through the food processor. So I just turn it on, get it whirring, and literally just drop it in, and it shreds it right up. Now if you have some that are too big, like this guy here, Clunk it down. If you have some that are too big, you could always cut them in half. All right, so our sprouts are shredded. Let's just get this off here and I'll show you. Look at those perfectly thin shreds. This is why I love using the food processor for this, is it works so easy. Now, this makes a lot of salad, so it's perfectly fine. These will last a while in the fridge, so if you're not going to eat this much on one day, trust me, I make this so often, I will slice up a pound like this, and then I'll just put them in a zip top bag in the fridge and let it hang out there. You can get a couple of days out of it. We eat this salad all the time. Okay. So we're going to move on to the rest of our salad. Okay, so I have the platter we're going to serve our salad on and I'm just going to heap up the Brussels sprouts on there. I love the presentation for this. It looks so pretty. So I'm just going to pile it on there. All right, so this is looking good. I'm gonna slide this off to the side and we're gonna work on the other components. So here I have an apple. Use any kind you like. The recipe calls for Honeycrisp. My new favorite is Snapdragon. So I've been using that in everything. I just love how crisp and sweet and a little bit tart they are, but I find it perfect. Use whatever you like. So I don't even peel the apple. You could, I don't. So I'm just going to cut around the core. And then I will just cut the apple into slices. We just want a nice dice. All right. Okay, so we're just going to pile our apple right on top. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to add a bit of shallot. So I like to use shallots for this recipe instead of onions. I feel like they have a milder flavor. Um, so we're just going to peel it. It's just a mild, a more mild onion. And I'm just going to do really thin shavings of the shallot, just using my knife. You could easily throw this through your food processor too, but I find I don't need a lot, so I just do it with my knife. Perfect. That should be good. So then I just take it. I don't want a lot of shallot flavor through just that little, little bit. Okay. Moving along, to top it off, we're going to add some pomegranate arils. I'm gonna slide my platter back over here 
and just sprinkle those pomegranate arils right on top. Can you see how beautiful this is? The red, the green, the purple from the shallot. There's so much flavor and texture going on here. I love it. And I love when you bite into them. Such a nice little burst. Okay, for even more texture, I'm gonna top this with some walnut halves. You can use the half or just, sometimes I crack them like right in my hand. No need to chop. Get your kitchen muscles, flex those kitchen muscles. Pecans would also be great on this. You could even candy the walnuts if you'd like. My husband loves it with candied walnuts. He's the one that's obsessed with this salad. He would probably devour this whole platter in like two days by himself. Okay, that looks good. So that is it for the salad. Super simple, it's beautiful, isn't it? Now we're going to whip up a pomegranate vinaigrette to drizzle over top. Final step in our shaved Brussels sprout salad is to make our pomegranate vinaigrette. So it starts with some mayonnaise. Get that into our bowl, whoopsie. And to that we are going to add some pomegranate juice. So I just got the bottled pomegranate juice. We're gonna pour that right in there. All right, so the next thing we need to add is some white wine vinegar. Make sure you're using white wine vinegar. It's very different than white distilled vinegar. So it just adds a little, it has a more mild flavor. Next up is some honey. Just for a little sweetness. And then a sprinkling of our, our all-purpose seasoning blend. And the recipe for this is in the video description below. And we'll give this a quick whisk just to get all the mayonnaise emulsified in with the vinegar and the juice. And it makes this beautiful pink colored dressing. Isn't this salad gorgeous? And it tastes just as good as it looks. Now there are so many different textures and flavors. There's nothing boring here. And Brussels sprouts are so good for you. It's a win-win. And you can totally play around with the flavors here. If you can't find pomegranate arils, you can easily swap in dried cranberries. And if you don't feel like making the vinaigrette, our favorite bottle dressing for this salad is Panera's Fuji apple dressing. It's the perfect balance of sweet and tangy. Okay, I can't wait to dig in any longer. I'm going in. So I'm gonna serve myself up a nice helping of this gorgeous salad making sure to get, oops, everything on the plate. Want a little more apple? Yeah. And of course we need a drizzle of our pomegranate vinaigrette right on top. Beautiful. Going in. Some apple, some pomegranate, some walnut, a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. This shaved Brussels sprout salad is definitely a keeper. You've got to give it a try. See, salads don't have to be boring. I have another incredible salad with strawberries. Every time I make it, I have to pass out the recipe. You don't wanna miss it. Check it out here. I'll see you in the next video.